Welcome to today's lesson. In today's episode, we're going to be creating a Chinese lantern. Now, when I think of China, I think of the Great Wall of China and Chinese dragons and beautiful cherry blossoms. You're going to have to decide what goes onto your Chinese lantern. So follow along in the video and enjoy. For this project, you're going to need the following. A picture or reference of Chinese art. Scissors, ruler, glue, two A4 or A3 pieces of paper. They don't have to be separate colors, but in this project, I'm going to use the red as my backing paper and the yellow as my lantern. If you don't have colored paper, you can use two pieces of white A4. For color, I'm either gonna use markers, colored pencils, or paint. You can choose between the three which you use. To start our project, we're gonna be working on the foreground color of our lantern. This is going to be the piece of paper that makes up the body of the lantern. The other piece of paper is going to make up the background color of the lantern. I'm going to glue two border areas, a ruler width on the top and the bottom of my lantern. The central area will be my working area. Two areas on the side will be my border areas. We are going to be doing our drawing in the working area. On your backing paper, rule one ruler width and the one side of the page. You're going to cut this with a pair of scissors and we are going to use this strip later in the project. The space between the two lines is going to be our working area where we're going to be doing the artwork on our Chinese lantern. I've chosen to do cherry blossoms. I'm going to be working with markers and paint, but if you don't have paint, you're more than welcome to work with markers, colored pencils, or twisties. I'm going to use a technique called stippling, where I use lots of dots to create my cherry blossoms on my tree. In our working area, we're going to draw lines running from left to right, the width of a ruler. These lines are not going to run into the border areas at the top and the bottom. We'll draw the lines running all the way across the page. Now we're going to fold our paper in half, matching the corners to each other. Using the ruled lines as a guideline, cut across the page. Do not extend your cuts into the border area. Now we're going to start building our lantern. We're going to stick the two border areas, the top and the bottom, to our backing paper. Ensure that your backing paper is in landscape format. You can put a strip of glue on the left and the right side of the backing paper. Once you've stuck your artwork down, there should be a strip on the backing paper that is left open. Apply glue to the remaining strip on your backing paper. Now you're going to fold your backing paper over on itself to form a cylindrical tube and attach the two sides of the backing paper together to form your lantern. The 
strip that you cut earlier from your backing paper is going to be used as your handle. Attach the strip to the top of your lantern with some glue. Well, I really enjoyed building my Chinese lamp and I certainly enjoyed decorating it. If you had fun in today's lesson, please hit the like button and subscribe and I'm going to see you next episode.